Hey everyone, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So, lockdown rules have started to ease in the UK. I've seen a lot of videos and photos of people going out shopping again, people getting their hair done. It's all quite exciting that everything is going back to normal. But what we really need to talk about is how much I was shopping during lockdown, because it was a lot. So, I'm going to be taking you through everything that I bought online during the lockdown. It is quite a lot of stuff, I'm going to be telling you how much it was as well. So if you want to calculate how much it all was at the end, then feel free to. Just don't tell me how much it is because I think I might cry. <laughs> now before we get into the video, I just want to point out that this is actually money that I've been saving to spend on a holiday for me and my boyfriend. We have birthdays two days apart in August and we had kind of talked about going away to London or to another city kind of in Europe maybe. Now this is before lockdown happened that we talked about this, so obviously we didn't know if we were going to be able to travel. So we kind of decided not to worry about it and any of the money that we'd saved up we could either carry on saving or we could just kind of spend it on what we wanted. So I did treat myself to a few things, I do have to admit. Everything that I am going to be talking about today I've either got next to me or I can show you photos of. I'll also try and leave the links to all the things that I bought in the description below. But there is a lot of it and I don't know if it's all still available so please bear with me. So the first thing that I ordered when lockdown happened was actually on the 15th of March. Now, I don't think lockdown in the UK actually happened until the 16th. However, for those who have watched my previous videos, you probably already know that I actually had to self-isolate two weeks before the lockdown in the UK happens anyway. So for all of you complaining about being locked in the house for X amount of months, I've been in for two weeks longer than all of you. Anyway, so my first order, as I said, was on the 15th of March, and I ordered from Zaffel. Now, if you don't know about Zaffel, it is an online clothing website. I'd only just heard about them, I had seen a few bad comments, I've seen a few good comments, so I thought I'd test it out for myself. So, I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought. I bought some jewellery, so I bought these earrings here. As you can see, there are actually two sets missing. Now, this is because I'm currently wearing one set, they're just simple hoops. But the other set, because they were cheap, just went bad. I had worn them in my ears for about two months straight, they were really cute. But you know the thing with cheap jewellery is that the gold colour comes off and they just don't look good anymore. Now in terms of the earrings, I was actually really disappointed. A couple of them are really, really cute. Like I really like these hoops, I really liked the other earrings that came with it as well. However, only two of the earrings shown in the photo actually turned up how they were meant to. If I can find the photo of the set that I actually wanted, I'll put them here and you can see a comparison to these ones. So yeah, they are quite different, so I was really disappointed, however saying that they were probably only about £5, so what can you expect really? Here we go, so these are the rings that I bought, they're okay, kind of cute, I actually really really enjoy them. Obviously these ones do give you the green mark around your finger if you wear them for too long. Now I also bought a two piece from Zaffle, it's really really cute. Okay, so this is really really cute kind of mini skirt, it's kind of a silky fabric. Um, and it's got this kind of dragon print on it. I thought it was really, really cute and it came with a matching top, which is cropped. Now again, this was really, really cheap so I wasn't expecting much from it really and it is really thin. But if any of you are interested in hearing my review about the whole outfit together, then I will be sure to let you know as soon as I actually try on and go out in the full outfit. And the final thing that I bought from Zaffle was a bikini. Now this bikini is bomb. I will put a photo here for you. It's super, super cute, really, really good quality, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So in terms of my whole order from Zaffle in general, I would never ever go back there for jewellery, never. I'd potentially go back there for clothes, only if I saw true, honest YouTube reviews about it before I bought them, you know, from people doing hauls and stuff that aren't sponsored. But if you're looking to get bikinis from there, 100% absolutely go for it. They are really, really lovely. And they've got a massive, massive variety of different bikinis on there as well, so I definitely recommend it. Altogether, my little shop at Zaffle was £34.02. and So on the 17th of March, I ordered something else. I'm not 100% sure on the price because I can't find the order number anywhere. But it's nothing really exciting. I ordered a phone mount and a wireless FM transmitter kind of radio for my car. The FM transmitter I've used before, it's amazing, but obviously it is quite cheap. However, saying that, I had my last one for about a year and a half before it broke, so I think it's quite good quality. 
The phone mount I actually haven't tried on my car yet because I haven't really needed to use my car since lockdown. Again, I will try and leave links to those two things below. My next order was on the 3rd of April. Now I have a subscription box from Birchbox. If you don't know what it is, look it up. They send you a box every month, quite small, and it's got some really cute products inside. Usually testers, but sometimes they're full size. I will show you quickly the size of my box that I got this month. So this is the size of the box that I got this month. They're the same size every month and you get five products inside. Now I've been getting these birch boxes for over a year so I'm not gonna be talking about that in particular but it's how I found out about this product that I bought. Does that make sense? So on the 3rd of April I bought this which is the Coco and Eve Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. Now I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Now the reason I mentioned Birchbox is because I actually got a tester of this in one of my Birchboxes last year. And I've been obsessed with it ever since. This is my second or third time buying this. It is so good, it smells amazing. Always keeps my hair looking really, really shiny and nice. It also comes with this super cute pink brush as well. However, it is kind of expensive. It's about 35 pounds. With this order, I also got a tanning mitt, and the tanning brush as well. Now I'm absolutely obsessed with the tanning mitt. It's so cute and it's really, really soft on my skin and spreads fake tan incredibly well. For those of you that don't follow me on social media or haven't through lockdown, then I'll fill you in on the fact that this was my first time fake tanning. I've never ever fake tan before. And I thought lockdown was the perfect opportunity to do it because if I fucked up, it didn't matter. <laughs> now I haven't quite perfected the art of doing it. I've only fake tanned three times but I am getting better and better at it as I go along so hopefully when this lockdown is fully over and we're allowed to go out and about again you'll see me walking around with a beautiful tan <laughs> so all together my shop from Coco and Eve costs £67.70 I know really expensive however the products are really really good quality I really enjoy using them and the hair mask has lasted me such a long time the brush is really really lovely especially for hair extensions Okay, I absolutely love this next purchase and I really can't believe that I did it. I'm a bit nuts and my mum and dad were super, super annoyed when I did this. But on the 9th of April, I bought myself some roller skates. Look how adorable they are. They are so cute. Now, I don't know if you can guess, but my favorite colors are black and purple. So cute. Now, I actually haven't used them as much as I'd hoped I would, which I'm really annoyed about. The pavement that we've got in our garden at our house just isn't the best to use them for, and the driveway outside our house is really, really bumpy and horrible, so it's not great for a learner to learn on. But I will be taking them home to my parents' house next week because I'm going home! And they've got a huge, smooth tarmac drive, which I will be able to practice on, so I'm really, really excited. Don't worry though, I also bought myself a helmet and pads. There we go, just simple black pads. They're all kind of velcroed together at the moment. And then my black helmet. Now as it says on the back, I bought all of these from Skate Hut. They have so many cute roller skates on their website. All different styles for all different ages. They've got skateboards and roller blades as well. And they've got kind of all the parts that you need for them as well. So when your wheels go, then you can get your wheels changed and things like that. I definitely, definitely give them a 10 out of 10. They're amazing. Altogether, they cost £88.94, which is quite expensive, but they're so much fun. Oh, every time I read a price out, it just makes me want to die. But oh well, it's done now. So my next purchase, I did actually split it with my boyfriend, but I am 100% blaming his family for this purchase and I will tell you why. Do you remember at the beginning of lockdown when we had that massive heat wave for about a month? Jack's parents and his auntie and uncle actually bought hot tubs. You know everyone went a bit crazy and bought themselves hot tubs. Well yeah they did that as well. They look so cool and I was so so tempted to buy one but I had to stop myself. So instead me and Jack decided to buy a swimming pool. One of those like eight foot or ten foot ones just from Argos and also buy a pump for it as well. So we bought these on the 20th of April. So altogether the pool and the pump cost £53.94. On the same day, so the 20th of April, we also bought some rake and some shears just for the garden. Our garden's quite large for the size of the house that we live in. 
and we decided that we should probably start taking care of it. They're really, really good quality. Altogether, the rake and the shears cost £31.95. So it's a pretty cheap purchase and they're really, really good quality. Now on the 28th of April, I bought myself some merch from a particular YouTuber that I became a little bit obsessed with over lockdown. So shout out to Tom Pike and Ben Elliott for introducing me to this YouTuber about six months ago. His name is David Dobrik. If you have never heard of him, then you have obviously been living under a rock. However, I did actually buy the old merch, not the new merch, because the new merch was out of stock when I went on the website and I preferred the old merch. So I'll show you that quickly now. If you do follow me on Instagram, then you will see this all the time. I literally wear it all the time. In fact, I changed into some different joggers that I'm currently wearing now because I was wearing the David Dobrik ones and I wanted to show you them, so. So this is just a pink sweatshirt. It says David's Vlogs on it. It's huge, it's really oversized, which is what I wanted, absolutely massive. It's literally the fluffiest thing that I've ever worn in my entire life as well. It's such good quality. And then if you follow me on Instagram and you don't know these joggers, that I'm really, really disappointed in you. They are these red ones here, which say clickbait on the side. They've got pockets, which I'm obsessed with. <laughs> and they are just so comfortable. So yeah, as you can imagine, they were quite expensive because merch from YouTubers tends to be quite expensive, especially as this was shipped from America as well. So altogether, this cost £61.95 before shipping. <laughs> but I personally say it was definitely worth it because I literally wear it all the time. On the same day, I also made a tiny, tiny purchase, £3.98, including delivery, for this really, really cute phone case that my phone is currently in. And it matches the fact that my iPhone is purple as well, which I thought was really cute. Now my next purchase was the biggest, and I can't show you it either because I'm currently using it. So on the 8th of May, when I decided that I wanted to start doing YouTube again, I bought myself a camera, and obviously a memory card, and a tripod, for £515.44. Yeah, expensive. Expensive. But it is the Canon G7X Mark II. And I think this camera is absolutely amazing. Now on the 15th of May, I finally ordered the pool cover for the pool that we bought. <laughs> now we originally bought the pool and the pump from Argos, but they didn't sell a cover that fitted the pool. So we had to order the pool cover from Amazon. It cost £11.99. Okay, so after my obsession with David Dobrik, I became obsessed with this British YouTuber called Jordan Lipscomb. Now, if you've never seen any of her videos, she does beauty, hair, fashion. Now, she does makeup and fashion hauls all the time, and she did a haul with Nasty Gal, which was sponsored and included a discount code. And after watching her video, I obviously had to go on Nasty Gal. So, I'd never ever ordered anything from Nasty Gal before. I bought four items. So, one of the items I bought was this really cute black bodysuit. Obviously, it doesn't really look like much at the moment. I can try and insert a photo here so you can see it on me better. Now, if you didn't think I was already obsessed with black enough, I bought another black item. So, from the front, it's just a black top, but on the back, obsessed. It says girls on top and it's got that little graphic. I also bought a purple cardigan top and some dark blue jeans with rips in them. I will show you a photo of me wearing them here. So I made that purchase from Nasty Girl on the 18th of May and it cost a total of £52.54. All the products were what I expected them to be. On the same day I made my first purchase at lounge underwear. Now if you haven't seen any adverts for lounge underwear anywhere then you must be living under a rock because they're all over my Instagram page. I don't know whether it's just the girls that I follow but their underwear is so cute. I don't have this to show you at the moment, it is in the wash because I've just worn it. The one I bought was pink, really cute. If I can find a photo I'll pop it here. So if you're one of those girls that relies on Christmas and birthdays for underwear and you don't actually go and buy it yourself, <laughs> like me, then there's a really useful guide on there for you to find the right sizes for you. I think I already said that it cost £35, but if I didn't then it cost £35. <laughs> so earlier I obviously mentioned the YouTuber Jordan Lipscomb. She did a YouTube video about seven months ago on how she does her nails at home and decided I had to try it for myself as well. So I did. So in this little box I've got all the stuff I need to be able to do my nails. I've got 10 packs of nails like this that come with a number on them representing the size. 
I got mine in white because the clear ones were out of stock when I ordered. So these are the two nail varnishes that I bought. This nail glue as well. If you guys are interested in how to do your nails, then I'm more than happy to make a video for you. I'm sure I'd be able to give you a few different tips than Jordan on how to cut them properly, how to shape them, and different ways of doing nail art with gems as well as with paint. So the nail stuff altogether came to £25.46. So my next order came from Shein. Now I'd never ordered from Shein before. I was really intrigued because at the time of me ordering them, which was the 28th of May, a lot of videos started going up on YouTube about the different products that they do on Shein and what it's all about. So I decided to test it for myself. So I bought three tops, two pairs of glasses and one pair of shoes, which I'll show you now quickly. One of the t-shirts I couldn't actually find a photo of me wearing and it's in the wash, so I can't show you. I wear this all the time. It's really, really comfortable. It's actually a men's top. I did buy another t-shirt as well from the men's section, which is black and white stripes. The other top that I got is the top that I'm actually wearing. It's a cute backless piece, which is cropped as well. However, it is very thin. It's not see-through, but I'm not wearing a bra. You can definitely see the knit. Then I also bought these glasses, which I'm obsessed with, so I got in two different pairs. How cute are these shades? So then the other pair of glasses that I got are exactly the same as the first ones, but they are clear. So the last item that I bought from Shein are these kind of white clumpy shoes. So yeah, I bought six items from Shein and altogether it came to £48.93, which I think is pretty decent. And considering that these items were shipped from abroad, they actually only took a week to get to me from the day that I ordered them. Okay, next on my list of items that I bought during lockdown, I bought a few bits of makeup from Superdrug on the 31st of May. Now, I can't remember the exact price of it and I couldn't find an order confirmation number anywhere, but I think it cost me about £25 and I bought four different items. So I bought the MUA Pro Base Foundation. I also bought a concealer, which is also the MUA Pro Base. Next, I bought the Revolution Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now, to go with this, I bought a Real Techniques sponge as well. The next thing I bought isn't particularly interesting either, really. I bought it on the 9th of June, basically because my hairdryer blew up. So I needed a new hairdryer. So this one's from Remington. It's kind of like reasonably small and it only cost 12 99 Now, on the 20th of June, I made another investment towards YouTube, which is a ring light, but this ring light was £39.99. It comes with three different colours and you're able to turn the brightness up and down as well. It also comes with different attachments so you can actually put your phone on there. And I've also used it to put my camera on when we film the cocktail video because it's quite tall. So the tripod for the ring light can actually use for many different things. On the 22nd of June I made another little, little, little tiny investment into my nails by buying these. So I need to wash this one from where I used it earlier, but it's basically got a little kind of paintbrush at the end of it, and each one has a different size. But yeah, I use them to do all my nail art. My nail art skills aren't fantastic at all, but I was pretty impressed considering that it's the first time that I've used them. I'm really not good with nail varnish, but I'll show you these two nails in particular that I'm proud of. I know the line on their little finger is a little bit wonky, but I was pretty impressed with them considering that was my first time using them. And they only cost me £5.49. Can't really go wrong with that. And I've basically kind of come to the end of my video. I have got four things ordered that are on their way, which I'm sure you will see up and about on my Instagram. So you should definitely go follow me there anyway. I've got another order coming from Shein, which should be arriving in the next two days, which I'm really happy about. I've got another phone case coming, which I did order 10 days ago, but it's custom made. So I'll definitely be showing you guys that on my Instagram. It's gonna be really, really cute. I have bought a face mask as well, a washable one. And the last thing that I have ordered, I am not allowed to tell you about. It's a surprise. It's nothing for YouTube, but it is for someone who's close in my life. So I don't want to be spoiling anything. We've now come to the end of the video. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about my little shopping addiction. <laughs> So if you have any of these products at your home yourself, or if you go to buy any of these products from watching this video, please let me know. I'd love to know 
your opinion about all the things that I've bought as well. Whether you like them, you don't like them. So please remember to comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, as well as music related content, please remember to subscribe below. It's been fun chatting with you, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.